it comes to making patios and decks cozy and eye appealing for the summer, well, sometimes we need a little help. Ansley Watson this morning uh, telling us how to make a flawless outdoor decorating idea. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. I can tell you what. You can't get much better than coffee sitting on a porch swing outside. Beautiful morning, very relaxing, rough morning, let me tell you. So this morning, it always amazes me of the little details you can add to your deck to just make it pop a little bit more. So this morning, we're going to be talking to an interior decorator about exterior decorating and just see what we can do with different lighting, textiles, furniture placement. It's going to be great. And then later in the hour, we're also going to be talking about a certain open house that you can go to and attend and meet Allison, the interior decorator, so she can help you out with some tips to just make your porch pop for the summer. So stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, looks like you've got another fine place to hang out for the morning. Thanks, Ansley. As we get ready for the day, uh, you know, with a little bit of rain, it is kind of nice to be able to sit on a porch and just watch there the rain go. come down. Right. Every homeowner wants their home to feel very welcoming. And when it's summertime, you want that welcoming feeling to be right outside your door this morning. Ansley Watson has more about how you can go about with some great exterior decorating tips. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. We've been learning a lot this morning and there's some really cute things to look at. So we're just going to jump on and join me this morning. It's Allison Clark Nye and she is an interior decorator. Thanks for being with me. Hi, thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So you actually own your own business called Curio Studio Design. Design studio. Design studio. <laughs> what did you do? How did you start that up? Well, I went to school for interior design at Michigan State, mm -hmm. and then I kind of saw a need in the market for affordable design services. So a lot of what I do is virtual consulting. So people will send me pictures of their space, measurements, and I kind of utilize online mm -hmm. Um, resources and send them shopping lists and design plans to make their spaces look great and I give them directions to say put this here buy this and then it's really simple. How do you begin that process? What's like the first thing that you think of whenever you try to help somebody design um, their patio? Basically the first thing I would think of is how you're going to use the space and how you want to feel in the space. So those are the really two most important things that you want to touch on because if it doesn't function um, for the way that your family needs to use mm -hmm. the space then as pretty as as it looks, it's not going to be, you know, worth it for the investment of the time and the money. So that's definitely where I would start. And then you kind of fluff everything up with all the pretties after that. Well, we are surrounded by a yeah. lot of pretties here. So let's start in what's kind of what was your design element whenever you did your deck here? Uh, well, I always just want to think about first kind of again, the functional layout. So creating some different seating zones. Um, you always want to have, you know, kind of a lounge space mm -hmm. and a conversation area, maybe a space for dining. So really thinking about the different functions that you want to happen in the space, how you want people to use the space, and then kind of dividing up the spaces with furniture first and working on the layout. That's always kind of the, the jumping off point. So back behind us, we've got a nice porch swing here. So whenever you're designing this, you actually added some pillows, some decorative pillows. Yeah, so when we moved in, there was no cushion on that. So we had um, a cushion made and with some nice fabric, again, a pop of color mm -hmm. to just add some interest out here. And then I really just wanted to dress it up and make it comfortable and kind of an extension of our exterior or our interior uh, living space. So adding some throw pillows, a nice cozy throw. So somewhere you can just curl up, read a book, hang out, and really kind of enjoy the, the summer while we have it up here. And you're saying this is the time that you can be bold and put these pops of color outside and it's totally fine. Yes. Um, I think it's always great to take a risk outside because um, you don't spend as much time in here. You're only out here for a short mm -hmm. period of time. So go with a pattern, a color, something that you wouldn't necessarily put inside your house because um, you won't tire of it. You don't have to look at it 365 days a year. And summer is about like being bold and bright and fun and colorful. And so you should really put those into your, put those colors and those patterns into your outside space and take a risk. And I noticed that you have a really large rug yes. out. And I think that's one of the things that people may not think about putting no, outside. I'm a huge fan of rugs. Mm -hmm. I put rugs everywhere. It's a great way, one, to kind of just define a different seating yeah. area. So you can kind of see this is just in this area, which is um, <clears throat> kind of the lounge area. But yeah, definitely a great way to add texture, color, pattern, um, and define a seating area. And there's 
a lot of options for, for outside um, rugs, rugs that are durable, that can withstand UV rays, mm -hmm. um, and can get wet and will dry out perfectly. So definitely a great thing to add to your outside space. Now there's a great little thing that you're hosting here this Sunday. Yes. What can people expect from that? Just give us a little preview. Um, it's a, it's an open house at Pier 1. So basically I'm going to be there from 1 to 4 um, and we'll just chat with people about their kind of decorating dilemmas in their spaces um, and kind of walk people through different products and different things that I would do in their space to kind of add some fun outside living space to your home. All right, Allison, thank you so thank much for you. being with us. And we'll get more to you uh, when we come back. So reporting live Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Boy, that looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And uh, for people just stepping out the door, maybe generating some good ideas. Right. Welcome back. Well, great opportunity to learn more about interior and exterior design is coming up. Ansley Watson joins us to tell us a little bit more about what you can expect. And Ansley, I'm only a few houses down from there, so if you guys are bored, uh, we've got a porch that could use a little uh, sprucing up. <laughs> All right, I'll mention George. Uh, Sam said since he lives so near to you that he needs a little help on his deck. So, you know, if you've got time. <laughs> so joining me this morning is Allison Clark Nye. Thank you so much yep, for being with thanks us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So it's kind of it's sometimes a little difficult to make your deck look so inviting and cozy, but you've done it very well on your own. Thank you. Can you give us some of your secrets? Um, a couple different things that I like to think about is um, bringing in some unexpected elements. So I like to use things that maybe you would, wouldn't think about putting outside, so they're not necessarily in the patio, home mm -hmm. and garden section, but bringing out maybe a mirror or a coffee table or something huh. that's, that's really made for inside and bringing it out and kind of adding um, those unexpected elements that really connect the interior and the exterior and make the space feel more cozy and more like an actual um, extension of your of your interior space in an outdoor room you like to mix and match you do I, not like no. patio furniture that completely matches exactly so like right over here you're saying that this had actually a matching pillow yeah, but you yeah. totally ditched that yeah I ditched that pillow and switched it out so I really wanted to kind of tie together the color from the cushion and bring that into these two areas so creating unity between the two different areas mm -hmm. so yeah I ditched those pillows I actually didn't ditch them I reused them in the backyard and then kind of switched out those lumbar pillows with a with a coral pillow um, but yeah I definitely like to mix and match um, even if something comes in a set I would probably, you know, use one part of the set somewhere and then take mm -hmm. the chair and use it on the back porch or on, on the patio upstairs just to kind of give that collected feel and something that looks like it came together over time um, and means something to you rather than you just went out and bought a set and, and there it goes. Um, so I think it, it gives a nicer, a nicer ambiance and that eclectic feel. I hear a lot of times, you know, I can't decorate my porch. That's so much money to, do, you know, put more chairs out there. How can, what things can you do to make it a little bit more affordable? Yeah, it definitely can be expensive. Um, outside furniture happens to be really expensive. It needs to stand up to the elements. Um, so just kind of limiting where you spend the money. So mm -hmm. investing in the in the chairs or the outside patio, sofa, um, things that need to kind of stand up over time. But then mixing and matching. I love to thrift thrift shop so finding you know maybe a cool coffee table that you can throw a coat of spray, spray paint on mm -hmm. and have outside you, you don't mind that it's you know gonna weather with the elements over the summer um, because you didn't invest a lot into it but it really adds kind of an extra an extra layer to the space um, and yeah and just little things like you know finding a throw pillow or something uh, that's inexpensive that you can kind of throw and add a pop of color and, mm -hmm. and if after the season it you know faded or got wet it's not like this huge investment so I would say really spend the money on on the the furniture and then add little touches that you can get you know around town or thrifting and make make it really nice lighting is also huge what would you say about that yeah I, I think lighting is something that people don't necessarily think of when they think of outside that's kind of an interior element um, but there are tons of options for outside lighting um, that you can kind of think of to help define an anchor spaces so there's outside chandeliers that you can you know can stand up to to weather and the elements that can hang over a really cool dining a dining area hang over a pergola you can switch um, out just your standard porch light for a fun chandelier um, adding you know 
architectural lighting, so little lights that you can stick in your garden and highlight parts of your house. Um, and then, you know, if that's kind of like, you know, over, above and beyond the scope that you want to touch on, um, just using candles and different mm -hmm. lanterns, you can hang them, place them, you know, on different tables around because it really does help kind of define these zones that you've created in the beginning um, and just really enhance each area that you've created. A really neat event is coming up this yes. Sunday. What can people expect yeah. from that? So Sunday at Pier 1, from 1 to 4, there's going to be an open house um, where I will be there along with some extra staff from Pier 1. Um, and we really um, encourage people to bring a photo or measurements of their space. And, and I will be in the store and help you um, decide where, what you should put there and different photos and, we can, and different images um, of pictures. And some we can go around and decide what, what we want to do for the space. Excellent. Thank you so yeah. much for being with I us, Allison. I see everyone there. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 More News after the break.